हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस टू अपग्रेड आज की वीडियो में यह डिस्कस करेंगे कंट्रोलर जनरल ऑफ पेटेंट्स डिजाइन एंड ट्रेडमार्क इसका जो पोस्ट निकाली गई थी पेटेंट ऑफिसर की फाइनली जो मेंस एग्जामिनेशन कंडक्ट हो चुका है ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जनवरी को उसका आज पेपर सेकंड डिस्कस करेंगे मेंस पेपर वन की बात करें तो कल की डेट में मैंने पेपर वन का मैक्सिमम मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन मैंने अपलोड कर दिया है इसी चैनल पर अगर आपने अभी तक नहीं देखा है उस वीडियो को तो आप जरूर देखिएगा यहाँ पर डिस्कस करेंगे मेंस पेपर टू की जो सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए थे टोटल ये सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस यहाँ 300 मार्क्स के थे मैक्सिमम मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस करेंगे तो अगर आप इस चैनल पर पहली बार विजिट कर रहे हैं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिएगा इस वीडियो को लाइक जरूर करिएगा मेन्स पेपर टू की बात करें तो यहाँ पर क्वेश्चन का डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दो तरीके से था शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन पूछे गए थे और लॉन्ग क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए थे दो कॉन्टेक्स में क्वेश्चंस था शॉर्ट टाइप एंड लॉन्ग टाइप क्वेश्चंस। शॉर्ट टाइप की बात करें शॉर्ट क्वेश्चंस में यहाँ पर बात करें तो यहाँ पर टोटल ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन पूछे गए थे टोटल क्वेश्चंस यहाँ पर शॉर्ट फॉर्म में ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन थे और मार्क्स की बात करें तो हर एक क्वेश्चन चार मार्क्स का था तो टोटल शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन यहाँ पर तो शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन यहाँ पर टोटल हंड्रेड मार्क्स का था बात करें लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन की तो बात करें लॉन्ग क्वेश्चंस की तो यहाँ पर टोटल लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन में टोटल एट क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए थे और हर एक लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स का था तो यहाँ पर लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन यहाँ पर टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स का है टोटल मीन सब्जेक्टिव पेपर यहाँ पर हंड्रेड प्लस टू हंड्रेड डैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क्स का रहने वाला है तो ये तो रही बात डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मार्क्स कैसे कैसे यहाँ पर मीन्स पेपर टू सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन कल की डेट में आए थे अब बात करते हैं यहाँ पर किस तरीके के क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए थे यहाँ पर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेड के क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस करेंगे तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं यहाँ पर शॉर्ट क्वेश्चंस की बात करें तो सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन यहाँ पूछा गया था टू फाइंड द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू फाइंड द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन प्लस का होल स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आएक्स इज द कंडीशन ऑफ अ जीरो वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन ऑफ अ सिंगल फेज ट्रांसफॉर्मर द कंडीशन वॉज गिवन एज फाइव इज इक्वल टू कॉस इन वर्स प्लस आर जीरो टू बाई एक्स जीरो टू इज दिस द कंडीशन ऑफ अ जीरो वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन ट्रू और फॉर्स सो दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन आर्स नेक्स्ट वॉज थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द मैच द फॉलोइंग सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज रिलेटेड टू द एड्रेस बर्स एंड आई थिंक सम फंक्शन वॉज गिवेन दैट इज वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द एड्रेस बर्स and data bus control bus and the input output bus so this was the question asked next question is related to the numerical based on basic electrical engineering the question is the current flowing in the branch ab the branch ab is this the branch ab the current flowing in this branch is 3.125 ampere is this true or false so i have solved this question using the nodal analysis let's take at node a at node a it will be va minus 20 by 4 plus va by 2 plus va minus vc by 2 here vc let's take this node as c okay and this node is a and this node is b so at node a we are solving here for node a so on solving this calculating we get 5 va minus 2 vc is equals to 20 as a equation 1 now applying nodal analysis at node c the equation will become as vc by 4 plus vc minus 10 by 4 plus vc minus va by 2 is equals to 0 the equation on solving this we will get 4 vc minus 2 va is equals to 10 now again simplifying it minus va plus 2 vc is equals to 5 using from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we will get the value of va as 25 by 4 volt okay now the current in the branch ab is given as voltage upon resistance that is va upon the resistance is 2 the value of voltage va is 25 by 4 so putting the value as the putting the value of voltage and dividing it by the resistance we will get the current as 3.125 ampere so current in the branch ab is 3.125 amperes so the given statement is correct so this is statement is true moving on to the next question again a match the following was given that is some modulator or detector were given we have to find i think we have to tell what is the main function of these modulator or detector so the frequency modulator amplitude modulator pam and dsb was given 
in the question so this was the question this question was related to a numerical it was based on operational amplifier slew rate numerical was also given so next was uh, again a true false statement based question it was related to the flip flops that is rs flip flop next was a numerical on the basic electrical engineering that is on the resonant circuit so in that question we have to find a basic circuit was given so in that circuit we have to find the frequency at the resonant condition the quality factor that is q of the circuit and the q of the coil 1 and 2 so this was the question asked these all questions were all based on the short type these all questions which i am discussing right now is a short answer type question which was four marks each so right now i'm discussing that only now the again a numerical was asked we have to find the current in the given branch so uh, data i don't remember so something this type of circuit was given we have to calculate the value of current question is related with the true and false that is the snubber capacitor in gto doesn't suppress the dv by dt immediately after the turn off the given statement is true or false so this question was asked next question was the match the following circuit the circuit with its function the circuits were the shift register what is its function we have to write we have to tell then counter function decoder what is the function of a decoder what is the function of rs latch again the match the question was asked accordingly we have to uh, match it with its converter here was the converter so this question was asked that is series series shunt series series shunt and shunt shunt next was the match the following again the continuity equation the formula for the continuity equation the gauss law equation faraday's law and the ampere's law so moving towards the next question the question was asked related to a material is it described by the following electrical parameters some parameters were given and uh, again a true false statement question was asked that is at this frequency the material at this frequency is considered to be a good conductor or not uh, so this true false question was asked these were the 15 questions out of 25 short type questions which i have discussed now moving towards the long questions total eight questions was asked in the long question the first question was the characteristics of a dc generator that is we have to write the what are the characteristics of dc generator now we have to again explain the detail in we have to explain in detail about the separately excited dc generator so uh, this separately excited dc generator and along along with this we have to also write about its characteristic so the part one was this the part two of question number one was a uh, uh, numerical based on the same that uh, that is part b was the numerical based on separately excited dc generator the next question was was related to the relay that was the explain with the block diagram the working principle of time lag over current relay the we have to explain the over current relay principle and we also have to draw the time curve next was to explain with the diagram of a solid state directional relay next question was a numerical based on power system stability next question was related to the power electronics inverter based it was again a numerical so this question was asked if anyone could remember the full question can comment down in the comment section next question was related to the control system we have to find the frequency response of the given system as well as the second order ramp input something this question was given if anyone could remember clearly the what was the question can comment down in the comment section next was again related to the control system a question was based on lag lead compensation and next question was a proof we have to prove lhs is equals to i think rhs something derivation type question was given next question was again seventh and eighth question was based on control system so these are the maximum memory based question of mains paper 2 subjective examination for the trade electrical engineering if anyone could remember the full question of any or one of the question i have discussed or the questions which are not discussed in this video can comment down in the comment section so that it can be helpful for other exams also and other candidates too so this is for the today's video if you find this video helpful do like comment share and subscribe to our channel we will see you in the next video till then take care and bye